Hi, y'all. Amanda Babb, Principal Architect for Enterprise Agility here at Precipio. Super excited to talk to you today about the new capacity planning feature available in JIRA Align. Just to let you know, Elastian's already published a lot of really great information about this, including some how-to videos, et cetera. So what I'm gonna do today is just walk through a couple of key points that I think are really critical for you to recognize in addition to all of the wonderful information that Atlassian has out there. So let's go ahead and get started. In our new navigation experience with JIRA Align, we can actually get to capacity planning either in the program or portfolio level. For the purposes of today, I'm gonna to start us off in the portfolio level. Over here on the left-hand side, up underneath capacity, that's where we're gonna see this new capacity planning feature. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And what we can see here is that for our current program increment, planning interval, quarterly increment, whatever you wanna call it, for all programs in this portfolio, for all features, whew, that's a lot of for alls, we are currently over capacity. How is that calculated? So in this particular case, we know that we love story points. We love agile teams to work within the estimation statistic that they're used to. So a couple of quick things. First of all, points per iteration. So this is going to be the total points per iteration, aka sprint, for all the teams in these individual programs, the number of total iterations across the teams in that program, any sort of buffer points, which I'll get to in just a sec, a capacity percentage, and then your available capacity, and that's what we're seeing here, is that overall calculation. Great, wonderful, super exciting, but what does this all mean, Amanda? Let's dig into this a little bit. So again, for each of the teams that's in your program, we can set their points at either a default, the previous plan, or an average velocity per team. So that means that we can look at our historical performance for each of these teams and bring that data over into JIRA Align. We can also manually set this if we'd like to, to account for future capacity or availability. Iterations, the number of sprints in our planning interval or program increment, right? We're using our default or our pre previous plan if we'd like. We can also use our anchors. Buffer points is kind of an exciting thing here. So this is basically going to give us an opportunity to say whether or not we have some folks that may not be available during this sprint. So we're saying, hey, instead of maybe all of the points, we may need to, to load to a lower set of points as opposed to 100%. And then last but not least, here's our capacity percentage. So capacity percentage is an interesting calculation that can give you the opportunity to state whether or not your teams are going to be working on 100% new feature and story work for the next PI. So in this particular case, for those of you that are looking for, well, what about defect work? What about keep the lights on work? we can go ahead and tune this capacity percentage down to what the actual historic percentages of our teams are for that bug work or for that KTL, KTLO, keep the lights on work may be. The next question that we're gonna get is how do we know, is it 80%, is it 85%, is it 60%? What about that new feature in story work in JIRA Align? This is where the magic happens, which means we should, in our connected JIRA instance, hopefully have a program style dashboard that will give us at least a good old thumb in the wind in terms of how that's working for our teams. In this particular case, we see our story, our epic, and our bug work. Our bug work is less than 1%, so 99% of our capacity is for feature and new story work. Awesome. We can then take that back and put each of our uh, program team's capacity at either that 99% or 80% or 60% to give us a better idea of what they're gonna be able to actually handle. So I hope this was helpful for y'all. There's a lot more information coming on this. Go ahead and check it out. If you haven't actually updated to the new nav or haven't toggled it on, please do so so that you can unlock some of these great new features that are available to you in JIRA Align. 
Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. And as always, please don't hesitate to reach out to us here at Precipio if you have any additional questions or if you'd like to get into contact with one of our fantastic JIRA Align SMEs.